guess what time it is? Time for a hair tutorial. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this easy, super duper easy hairstyle. I don't have a name for it. It's messy pixie. It's best for a second day hair when your hair is not manageable. I actually did it on a freshly washed hair. So you can do both. But I had to use a leave-in conditioner to get it to have that second day hair feel. If this is something that interests you, keep on watching. So I've never filmed a video having somebody else in the room with me and my friend is here and it's kind of weird. I'm used to talking to myself. Alright, so as I always say for videos, for the for the hair styling videos, you gotta blow dry your hair in the direction that you want to style it. And today I want to do, since we're doing that messy um, faux hawk kind of look, that's how I'm gonna blow dry it. My friend's probably gonna come walk through, um, so yeah, just warning you guys. Alright, my hair is wet, got out of the shower, did my makeup, Hair got dry, so I had to wet it again. And sometimes when I want to re wet my hair, I use a uh, leave-in conditioner for restyling. We have a ghost coming through. And there is the ghost. <laughs> so yeah, I use a leave-in conditioner to re-wet re my hair so that I can step. And here are a couple of the ones that I like. The, one of the ones that I like is the 7 Seconds Detangler by Unite. If I can get this, I never know how. Okay, I'm not sure if it works. It's this one, so I just like, re wet my hair. So then. Since we want to do the faux hawk style, I'm just going to blow dry my hair up. I want some of the size to be down, so I'm going to leave these guys down here and I'm not going to blow dry them up. Since I want these guys to go this way, point the blow dryer in this direction. So then these will go down. And if you guys notice when I'm doing it, I'm kind of like curling it a little bit like this because that's the, I like it when it's kind of, you know. Also when you use a leave-in conditioner, it kind of gives your hair the second day hair feel like it's like dirty so it has some texture so it's easier to style. That's another reason I like using that. This shirt was the wrong choice for this video because I keep lifting my arms up and then it's like, you know, my friend is cracking up over here. You're distracting me. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys cannot see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> blow dryers. <laughs> so yeah, it see it's already looking like the way I want it to. You see like there's like a little bit of a bend. It's because like I've been molding it with my fingers. Next step is gonna be the flat iron. I'm using this FHI one. I'm kind of I really like this one. It's very lightweight that's, and it heats up super fast. The front, since I want to do like this crisscrossy looking thing, I'm going to flat iron the front because I want that to be flat. So I'm still going in the direction that I'm going to go in the direction that I'm going to style. So flat iron. And these pieces are gonna go up, so I'm just gonna flatter. Okay, 
you don't have straight hair, you might end up spending a little bit longer straining it, but you can still do the style. Front, I wanted to go up, so I'm gonna do it. So now, product time. I mean, are you guys proud of me? I have not dropped a single thing so far. That's the first for me. The first product we're going to put in my hair is Powder Play. It's a texturizing powder, but also give your gives your hair a hold. Not like a super strong hold, still you can touch, it's touchable hold. But I just, I just love using this because I don't like the feeling of hairspray. Sexy Hair has two powder plays. There's like a, the normal powder play and then there's the powder play light. Powder Play Light comes with a convenient pump. Almost dropped. It has like this like pump. Like it's really convenient. And then the, the regular one doesn't have the pump. Uh, it just has a top that you just kind of like do it like a salt shaker. Um, what I like doing is to cheat. I take the pump from the light one. I removed the, the cap from this. And then I stick this in here, and I can use the pump now. Lift the hair, like so. But I'm going to put it in the roots first, work through the roots first, and then I'm going to put some at the ends for um, styling. So now, you work through it. The sides, I like them a little bit poofy, so what I do is I stick my fingers in there and I kind of put some on the ends. I will also be using a wax to um, style the ends, but before I'm doing that, I still like to put some on the ends. I like using this second day finishing cream by Unite or any kind of wax. I normally use Texture Frenzy by Sexy Hair but I've been using that a lot in my videos so I wanted to try something or introduce you guys to something new because I have so many products. And this is good. It's The reason it's called second day because it gives your hair that second day texture. You can put it in clean hair and it'll have that kind of texture. And uh, smells oh, yummy. So take that. Guys, I want them to go across, so I kind of like style it that way. And then the rest is going up. And you just play around until like you get enough of the bangs that you want. It just takes some practice and you'll get you'll get a hang of it to know like which parts to like blow dry down and how much like action you want going on in the front or you want it up but the pieces that you want down like make sure when you're blow drying to blow dry them in the direction that you want it so I think I'm happy with this all right guys if you enjoy uh, my tutorials make sure to you know what to do subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and if you recreate this look please do tag me I want to see that 
my technique is working for you or if you have any feedback for me, do let me know. I do read your comments. All of them. That's all I got. Oh, I'm gonna review the products again before I go. Oh, I forgot to mention something. I put a product in my hair before blow drying and that's the Love Oil by Sexy Hair. I did put this guy in my hair before blow drying. It's a it's a hair serum oil, and I always put some kind of oil before blow drying. So that was before I even started doing the video. And then I did the blow drying, and next I used Powder Play by Sexy Hair, and for the paste I decided to use the second day by Unite. Another favorite of mine is this one. Good catch, good catch. Texture Frenzy by Sexy Hair. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go get dressed or continue getting dressed because I'm only dressed this part. The bottom needs some work. Bye guys.